In the arts, a lot of people follow their passion without ever becoming rich and famous because they just have to write or paint or act or make films. Jim Kircher introduces us to a local filmmaker with one foot in Hollywood and one firmly planted in St. Louis. It was a special night this past March at the 24-1 Movie Theater in Pagedale. There were regular movies being shown, but one theater was reserved for a short film directed by St. Louisan Kevin Coleman Cohen. Pretty Boy was shot in St. Louis with local actors about a street kid in St. Louis. It's one of the things that attract me to um, films is just telling stories about young people. People that support me and what I'm trying to do understand that St. Louis is in the film. It is a character in the film, the environment. You a pretty boy. If St. Louis is a character, it might not be a likable one. This is the trailer for the film, Pretty Boy. It's about a street kid about it, bro? pulled into the world of sex work. I can't do that, man. It's easy money, man. We can like... A world Coleman Cohen bro. discovered and while working with homeless do. teenagers in St. Louis. A lot of you doing this? the journey of Pretty Boy um, comes from when I started working at Youth in Need many years ago. This is how I found that underground world of young men engaging in sex work to survive on the streets. It surprised you what you discovered. It did. Yeah. It did. And the, you know the stereotype when you see young men on the street corners late at night um, in certain parts of the city? You think drugs. You think some criminal activity. You don't think sex. So it, it happens in plain sight. One of the areas he got to know was the old railroad tunnel that came in north of downtown and ran under Tucker Boulevard. These are shots from 1998 when it was still used to get newsprint to the Post-Dispatch. Years later, Coleman Cohen found it a very different place. And that's where all the young people were hanging out. When I discovered this underground world of young males engaging in sex work, it just blew my mind. Um, since then, I have learned that it's a national crisis. Young people engaging in sex work, um, many of them are trafficked. Coleman Cohen is a graduate of the prestigious American Film Institute Academy in Los Angeles. But before that, he grew up in the city, went to Parkway West in the DSEG program, and then started taking classes at St. Louis Community College at Forest Park. Kathy Dunlap was one of his teachers, and she was invited to the screening. Well, he was a wonderful student, as you can imagine, but we had some good students there. Community College was my stepping ground to get to the next level. I wasn't ready to go to Howard University before I went to AFI, and Forest Park, St. Louis Community College at Forest Park prepped me for that. It's an amazing place. It's, it's, people don't realize that. Coleman Cohn himself has taught filmmaking at universities in addition to making his own films. Pretty Boy is only 17 minutes long for now. He would like to raise the money to turn this into a full-length feature. So here's the challenge. It's a great issue, something we should know about. Is it a movie we want to see? It's uncomfortable at times. Yeah. It's a movie that you must see, or are we not going to talk about it? My job as an artist, what I see my job is, is just bringing attention to it and starting the dialogue. Uh, what advice do you have for filmmakers or actors here in St. Louis? And before if he were in this for fame and fortune, he probably would have quit long ago. Recognizing that I am from St. Louis, I didn't go out to Los Angeles to become a big name, though that wouldn't be bad as well, <laughs> right. because I want that. But I just want to tell stories. Honestly, I just want to tell stories and help um, bring attention to whatever um, story that I'm trying to tell as an artist. It's a long shot, but you have to put yourself out there. And while Coleman um, Cohen knows Hollywood, you really couldn't call this a homecoming because he's never really left. You've lived in L.A., you've lived in Atlanta, you've lived in D.C. Why are you still a St. Louis and why do you still think of yourself as that? Uh, the St. Paul sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other place. And I've been to China. They don't have that there or orange chicken. Um, St. Louis has the best Chinese food. It has the best people. Um, I can afford to live here. Um, I can't afford Los Angeles. Um, and, you know, the thing about St. Louis, it's an untapped community when it comes to film. I want to capture the city, the texture, the environment will be a character in the films that I make. And St. Louis is just open and ready for it.